a secret trick to get extra lives for Toe Jam and Earl. A review of the adventures of those wild characters, the Tiny Toons. And tips for weapon power-ups in Super Castlevania 4 for your SNES. All this and Mondo more on Game Pro. Hi, I'm JD Roth. Welcome to Game Pro. We are over the top today with the coolest tips and tactics we could possibly find. I'm talking we dug deep, very deep, to get you the best stuff and gaming information around. And check it out, man. Where do we get the coolest information around? Game Pro Magazine, that's where. You know what? I'm getting tired of talking. Let's just kick it to SWAT World. Whoa. Secret weapons and tactics. Yo, it is funky time in SWAT world, and I am hanging with some of the coolest homeboys ever to drop in from the planet Funkotron. They are Toe Jam and Earl, the kings of the Genesis game system. Cool. Now, if you find that you're getting a little low on spare lives, why don't you give this trick a try? In level one, use the Icarus wings, rocket skates, or the inner tube to go all the way to the lower left portion of the map. This will bring you to an island. Now in the center of this island is a hole. Drop right down the hole and you will zap to level zero where you'll find a lemonade stand and a hot tub filled with hula babes. Very nice. Now, walk over to the lemonade stand, stay away from the hula babes and push up on your controller. The man at the stand will give you a glass of lemonade. Drink it down, and you get one free life. Now that you have an extra life, you can either fall or just jump off the island into space and reappear on the highest level you've reached so far in the game. A cool tip for some cool bussin' dudes. Let's check it out one more time. First, get to level one and use the, either the Icarus wings, rocket skates, or an inner tube to get all the way to the lower left-hand portion of the map. Now that's where you'll find the island. Okay, great. Now, find the hole in the center of the island and drop down to level zero. Go over to the lemonade stand, not the hula babes, and take the glass of lemonade from the main man. Very cool, you got one extra life. Now jump off or just fall off the island and you'll land at the highest level you've reached during the game. Whoa! Hey, dive man! Hey, what's happening, Pharaoh man? Whoa! <laughs> Here's one for the latest installment in the popular Mega Man series, Mega Man 4 for the Nintendo. And I'm JD Man. Now, if you and the Mega Dude are spraining your brains, trying to locate the various adapter items, not a problem. Just watch this. To find the balloon adapter, you must enter Pharaoh Man's world. Now, near the beginning of this level, you'll come to a huge gap. There it is. Use the Rush Dog Coil device to spring over the gap. Come on, you can do it. Perfect. Now, walk off the screen and keep moving right until you find the adapter. Remember, the balloon adapter is useful as a floating platform, which can come in real handy when it comes to grabbing power-up items. Let's see it again. First, enter Pharaoh Man's world. Okay, cool. Jump over the large gap near the beginning of this level using the Rush Dog Coil device. Now, walk off the screen and keep moving right until you find it. Now there's another hidden adapter that comes in handy when it comes to exploring the boss robot levels, and that's the wire adapter. Here's how to get your hands on it. First, get into Dive Man's world. Once you're there, fall down the hole in the second rising and falling tide section. Cool, but be sure to avoid the spikes as you fall. 
You're doing good. Now, when you land, you'll find the wire adapter waiting for the taking. Now, you can use that wire adapter to grab onto the ceiling, giving you a whole lot more playing power. Here it is again. First, get into Dive Man's world. Now, fall down the hole in the second rising and falling tide section, but be careful not to touch one of the spikes as you fall. When you land, grab the wire adapter and you are all set. There it is, grab it. Not a problem, Maddie. We knocked this one out cold, so uh, watch this, babe. For Cleopatra, choose a major credit card. To beat Confucius, you need fortune cookie. For King Arthur, it's the Holy Grail. To get Christopher Columbus, use the map. Now for Paul Revere, get the megaphone. Jesse James will require a bag of money. And for Al Capone, nothing less than a gun, of course. For Julius Caesar, you'll need the salad dressing. Now, we didn't give them all to you, but we figured we'd leave a little challenge. Excellent question, dudette. And remember, if you have questions, we might have the answers, so fire away. We'll give you the address at the end of today's program. Yes. Tips for Tiny Toons, Lemmings, Bonk Revenge, and Super Castlevania. Stay with us, it's getting fun. One of the most popular new cartoon series to hit the airwaves in a long time is Tiny Toons. You know Tiny Toons. Now with things like Steven Spielberg and Warner Brothers involved, you gotta know it's gonna be good. But what about the Nintendo Entertainment System video game card version? I know that's what you're asking. Well, we checked it out for you, and we're going to tell you exactly what we think. Now, remember, we rate the games in four categories. Graphic quality, sound effects, player challenge, and the overall fun factor. Our scoring system goes like this. A two means not so hot, kind of a weak game. A three, well, that's average, your normal game. A four means good game playing stuff. And number five means don't miss it, because this baby is as good as it gets. In the video game version of Tiny Toons Adventures, Montana Max has kidnapped Buster Bunny's best friend, Babs Bunny. Jeez. Max is holding Babs prisoner at his place, and it's up to Buster to make his way to Mondi's well-protected pad and rescue the girl. Now, reaching Montana's hideout is no easy chore, since there are 24 areas of play between Buster and his babe, Babs. To help him make his way through the trek, he can choose one of three other tunes to help out. There's my buddy, Plucky Duck. Not to mention Dizzy Devil. And he's looking good. My personal favorite is right there, it's Furball. Now each of these three have a different talent to contribute. Plucky can fly, Furball climbs vertical surfaces, and Dizzy launches into some mean wall-busting Tasmanian twirls. But keep this in mind. You only gain the power to call upon these friends by capturing power spheres, which are strategically located throughout the game. Now, as Buster makes his way, he'll encounter some familiar obstacles, which I can only describe as being straight out from a Super Mario game. There are floating platforms, sand pits, and last but not least, even shell-shooting crab creatures. Now, while we would expect the younger gamers to be attracted to this card due to its cartoon popularity, when you strip away the name Tiny Toons, there is still a solid game with a fair challenge particularly for the novice gamer. So, you want to know, how did we rate it? I'm going to tell you. The animation is top of the line for 8-bit systems. The sound, well, it's acceptable, but not awe-inspiring. Now, while the game is probably going to be the most challenging for the younger players who are more appreciative of these characters, the more experienced gamers may not be as excited by the gameplay. 
Finally, as to the overall fun factor, well, uh, again, the younger gamers out there are probably going to have a better time with Tiny Toon Adventures than you Game Pro veterans. Good work. <laughs> A lemming is defined as an adorable, yet incredibly stupid furry rodent lost in a maze of confusion. Lemmings are known to walk off cliffs, wander aimlessly into dangerous passageways, and drown by the thousands in small pools of water. So, what you say does this have to do with a video game? A great deal, as you will now take your turn at saving these hapless creatures in the new Super Nintendo game entitled Lemmings. This puzzler card has 30 different screens and four difficulty levels. In each level, your task is to figure out how to get as many lemmings as possible from point A to point B. Most levels scan several screens, and the terrain for each screen is different and fraught with the disaster for the rampaging rodents. Each level begins when a trap door opens and lemmings drop out to begin their march. This is where you come in. Since the lemmings are fond of blindly marching to their doom, you are granted some special powers to help you help lemmings. For example, you can turn a lemming into a blocker, who will keep his buddies from walking into bubbling lava, or you can create a digging lemming who carves a tunnel for his friends. Not a bad guy. As you reach higher levels and alter the difficulty settings, the obstacles become more difficult and more complicated. While this game works nicely for one player, we recommend playing the two-player version of the game, which has 20 levels. Here, each player tries to direct his or her own bunch of lemmings to the right level exit while trying to block the opponent from rescuing his rodents. Whoever saves the most lemmings wins. Oh yeah, there's one more thing we forgot to tell you. Sometimes, the only way to save a few lemmings is to blow up a few lemmings. Now, while it's going to be painful to hear them scream, Oh, no! It'll all be for the best in the end, I promise. In fact, I think you're going to enjoy this game so much, you may be ready to follow a lemming off the nearest cliff yourself. But don't. Why don't we kick it to SWAT? Secret weapons and tactics. Hey, you Castlevania Crusaders, if you're looking for more snap for Simon's Whip, we've got some tips for the Super Nintendo title, Super Castlevania 4, that'll put some power into Belmont's Dracula's bash. Watch this. <laughs> First, get into level 3, screen 1, which is the cavern. Now, near the end of the level, there are some odd-looking boulders. Strike the boulders with your whip, and a hidden room will appear. Go on in and load up with weapon power-ups with the candles. Now, make your way to level 9, screen 2. Let yourself get sucked into the wind tunnel opening, and you'll be magically transported to a special bonus room full of goodies and treasures. Now, if you face Dracula in the SNES version of this hot series, you know how valuable these tips will be. You want to see him again? Okay, let's see him again. Go ahead. For extra candles and weapon power-ups, get into level 3, screen 1. Make your way through the level until you're nearly at the end where you'll encounter some strange boulders. Crack them with your whip and a secret room will emerge. Go on in and load up, baby. Now, to land in a special bonus room full of Major League treasure, get into level 9, screen 2. All you have to do is let the wind tunnel suck you in and you'll uncover the secret room. Here's one for you Bonko maniacs out there looking to get a little practice going in Bonk's Revenge for the TurboGrafx-16. If you want to practice all the bonus rounds in Bonk's Revenge, all you have to do is go to the Mode Select menu and then press Button 2 and Run at the same time. That is it. Take your choice of playing in any of the bonus rounds of the game. Great, you know, because I could use the practice in round eight where you have to face those nasty piranhas. You know that one. Let's run that by you one more time. First, 
go to the difficulty select menu. Now, hit button two and run at the same time, and you'll be able to practice every bonus round in the game. Next, killer tips for Devil's Crush, El Viento, and much more when Game Pro returns after these messages. The Blockbuster Video Top 10 NES Video Game Rentals for this month are... Good thing I don't get dizzy. There is nothing like an old-fashioned game of pinball, right? Well, Devil's Crush for the TurboGrafx-16 may not be the old-fashioned kind, but it's some incredibly tricky pinball action. So get your bumpers greased up, because we've got some serious password action to keep you behind those flippers for as long as you can stand to be there. If you'd like to start out with 145 million points and 70 balls, enter T-H-E-D-E-V I-L-S-I. -I. Boom! My kind of pinball. If 27 balls and 594 million points is more to your liking, enter O-N-E C-R-U-S-H-M-E. One crush me. Check it out. 594 million points. Cool. Now, if you just want to skip the whole thing and get to the good stuff and see what the end of the game looks like, you're going to need 999 million points, and you'll need to enter T-H-E-C-R-U-S-H-E-L. The Crushel. There it is, the end of the game. some serious point tallying. Now, you might not have gotten all those down, so we'll run by them one more time for you. For 145 million points and 70 balls, enter T-H-E-D-E-V-I-L-S-I. If you'd like 594 million points and 27 balls, try typing in O-N-E-C-R-U-S-H-M-E. Finally, if you want to skip right to the end of the game, with a total of over 999 million points, enter T-H-E-C-R-U-S-H-E-L, the crush all. If you're into the high-tech and high-intrigue action of 16-bit gameplay's hottest cart, you know I'm talking about El Viento for the Genesis. What you may not know is that El Viento means the wind, and that pretty well describes the fast action as our hero fights the mobsters of Chicago in the 1920s. Here's a couple of tricks that'll make the fight go easier. Whoa! If you want to enter the game at any stage you want, here's what you do. First, pause the game. Now press up, left, right, down, and then B. This will skip you a stage. To skip to the next stage, simply repeat the same sequence. You can do this throughout the entire game. Let's run that down one more time. For stage skipping, first pause the game. Now press up, left, right, down, and B. Hey, that's all there is to it. For further skipping, keep repeating the process. And good luck. More mighty tips for Terracan when Game Pro returns. Don't move a muscle. 
My name is Mike Gorga from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I have a killer secret weapon for that rogue battle game, Turrican, for the Genesis. Enter the options screen and move the cursor to exit. Then push down on your pad and press A, B, B, A, B, A, A, B, A, A, B, A, and A. Then you, you can pick your starting level and have infinite lives some more. All right, dude, that was a great tip. Way to go. But let me give you that one more time because that boy talks fast. Enter the options screen and move the cursor to exit. Now hold down on your pad while you press A, B, B, A, B, A, A, B, A, A, B, A, and A. Now you can select your starting level and begin with infinite lives. Cool. Okay, that's all the time we have today, but... If you think you've got a cool question, maybe a tip, maybe a tactic, or something really thought-provoking, write it down on paper and send it in. Send it to Game Pro TV, P.O. Box 3329, Redwood City, California, IA, 94064. So until next time, we gotta put it on pause. This show is too legit. Peace. We out of here. Yes. Oh.